welcome back to Tiger T. It's untitled and focused. What up, what up, what up? Raymond. Um, and today, very special day. Very special day for <laughs> for some special boys, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, we're going to start off with the Thin Executioner. Oh, boy. Which took over, uh, what did we do before this? Lupin, right? So we, we did, did take Lupin. Week. Um, so Thin Executioner, a book by Darren Shane. We're going to talk about that. Um, just a reminder, though, uh, you get this podcast wherever you get podcasts, right? Anywhere, as long as it's illegal, or well, probably even some illegal places, I imagine, um, as well as the Tiger T YouTube. So go over there, check it out, show love, all that good stuff. Um, so Thin Executioner, Rayman, mm-hmm. uh, a book that you've told me about before. Yes. And now I finally read it. Did you reread it or are you just banking off me reminding you? Right now I'm just banking, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Um, I was like, I, I, I literally got like two chapters in and I was like, I'm not going to be able to finish reading this. For separate fine. reasons. For, for yeah. separate reasons. Obviously I'm late to the podcast. <laughs> that's fine. Um, I really enjoyed it. So I actually remember stuff. <laughs> That's good. A good thing is that I actually do remember a good amount of stuff that happens in here. I have mm-hmm. cherry picked stuff that I remember, so I can work with that. Okay. Um, I, I do have to say, so going into this, the main ending, I, I my, my major gripe with the book is the ending. Is my major gripe. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. real before, right before you, <laughs> before we say anything, um, as everything else, there's spoilers. So we're talking about the whole book here. We're not talking about. We never spoil anything. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is spoiler free. Go back 30 seconds. So the ending of the book, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what? what's the, what do you talk about with the ending of the book? Uh, it's not like the ending, ending of the book. Like, I feel like the ending of the book is, for the most part, pretty fine. I feel like uh, it's pretty obvious in the end he's going to pick uh, the other girl who likes him, not the princess, yeah. as you're going through the book. It's a pretty obvious choice. He's gonna be like, you know, this girl's always been nice to me. Why don't I take her? And, you know, and like at, at at the very end, like we even have him going against the king, going against the whole city, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she she's not into this, but but the other girl is. You know, she actually sees mm-hmm. you for what you are, and she was like super happy when she found out that he wasn't going to like kill people every day, right? yeah um did did anyone actually believe that that he wasn't gonna pick her i don't know dude i mean like this book is aimed at young adults so i, don't, I can't really say for certain yeah. but i think it's pretty heavily like spoon fed to you that like you know he's picking her <laughs> yeah i mean i i just thought it was funny because because the way darren chan wrote it right it was like i think it was the second to last chapter maybe mm-hmm. Where it was like, oh, I did the execution stuff. I'm gonna pardon all the criminals so you can't kill them. And and it was like, and then he he pointed to the most beautiful lady in all of Wadi, and then they immediately married. And we didn't we didn't see who it was. And then like yeah. I think in the last chapter they just say like the name one time. Yeah. And just go. I have the book on my phone, so I'm just gonna pull it up just to see. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I mean, um, but yeah, I did I plan just... to. Be- I was just like kind of laughing to myself of how coy he was trying to be of like Ooh, he's like oh who do you pick who do you pick he's like it's pretty obvious dude who do you pick clearly him because if if he like, did that, pick I think that line pick. irritated me when I was reading it the first time I I oh, seriously yeah. remember that yeah because I mean think about it if if he did pick the princess they would have just said it because yeah. that's that's what he was you know supposed going to going for right? the entire time yeah yeah it's like. It's like smiling shyly. He pointed to the most beautiful girl in Wadi and said, I choose her if she'll accept me. And when she did, off the pair went to be wed. Yeah. And then the entire chapter 38, I think they're not saying her name. Mm. It's just like epilogue, basically. Like, oh, here's where he lives. Here's kind of what they do. They're setting up the jails, all that stuff. And like, it's literally like the last line. He says, I love you. He kissed her again and muttered, murmured, murmured softly, boss. Like yeah. literally the entire time on chapter 38, you don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, you do know, but like you're like, okay, come on, let me hear the name. Let me hear the name. You know, didn't 
Um, they also said where he lived, though. Like, past him getting married. Like, in, in that chapter, they're like, oh, he lives in the outskirts of town or whatever. Um, and then he's like, not not because I wanted to be closer to that other town, the, like, slave town or whatever. It's just mm-hmm. what they... And, and, like, that right there should have... If by this point, you you weren't sure who he picked, I feel like... Yeah. If he picked the also, princess, he, he would he be replied, living in the castle. Thank you, wife. Yeah. <laughs> so he was trying to be so coy about it. It's... He's, like, he's, like, he's, like, he's like, I really want the last word of this book just to be her name. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But, like, the decision as a whole, I think, is, like, mm-hmm. a nice cap for, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, throughout the last, like, third of the book, I'll say, you really started to see him changing, you know, just yeah, as like... a person. It's a great, the, the way it portrays it, I mean, like, you know, he's not supposed to be a nice guy when he's starting, you know? It's very, yeah. very clear. Um, he's not even, like, you know, like, hero material at the beginning of this book, you know? He's, like, you know, pretty much a coward. He's, he talks know. big, dude. <laughs> well, yeah, because his, his dad is the executioner. Yeah. But, like, he doesn't, he, he doesn't know anything. I think... I think that's his biggest and like the biggest reason why I hated him <laughs> for so long. <laughs> you know, he's not really like a bad person. He just doesn't know anything. He was just raised that way. It's yeah. it's painful. Honestly. Which is why uh, one of the things I liked, he was talking to, he was talking to Tell, I think, somewhere towards the end of the book. And they were talking about the Umbiara right the like crazy okay. religious people mm-hmm. he was talking to him and he was like oh yeah that cult yeah yeah <laughs> that was i don't like that part at all like th- 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 that's where you actually feel like oh this is darren chan writing this you know what i mean yeah i was like when you get to the cult, this, you get to the cult yeah. like, this is darren chan you're like, this, this, this yeah. is like, the entire time you're like reading like oh yeah, this, this, this is a nice story you know nothing weird out here you get to the cult mm-hmm. it's like this is darren chan boys we in it. <laughs> you, you got us <laughs> It's like he, um, we did. We did think he was gonna do something like this, but he did it. He did it again, boys. He did. Yeah, that was. Uh, but uh, he was talking to him, and he was like, "Would because Jabel was in the process of trying to like brush off all the teachings of his elders and stuff, like all the people in Wadi. Oh, I don't mm-hmm. know if I believe them anymore or whatever." And Tell was like, "Would you? Would you dismiss the uh, Umbiara's?" teachings if the the one dude like blint something like that was, that was the name or something like that that sounds right dude yeah. sounds right. the the leader if he was your dad and then jabelle very quickly was like well yeah i wouldn't there these guys are crazy the, but then tell was like nah really think about it if if he was your dad and if, if, if you're raised that way would you be able to just dismiss him so quickly and and jabelle couldn't because it's like if that's all you knew it's the same mm-hmm. with one was it with them telling you about the for the every crime, queens? just chop a head off, dude. Yeah, like, with, the, with the way the executioner rolls, it's like that's what you've learned, and you, and you believe it now, whether it's right or wrong. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's 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 really good, man. <laughs> and tell actually becoming like his father figure throughout the story. Yeah, something that he kind of push on, and then him in the end, obviously deciding not to kill Tell, but to let him die. You know. Mm-hmm. Something that, like, you know, a decision he would not have made earlier on in the story. No, I mean, there was, like, a couple dozen times where he was thinking to himself about how he can't wait to get there so he can kill him. I mean, especially in the <laughs> beginning, where he was, like, excited about it, you know? Yeah. Um, I one of the things that he does is his meeting with death. I feel like it's very interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah he that dies. Was cool. <laughs> mm. Like, Jabelle dies in this book. Yeah. But he's able to, like, sweet talk death. <laughs> yeah. He's like, like hey, uh, the time. When we meet again. We can have a nice conversation. He's like, he's like, no one else really wants to talk to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, you pass, dude. Just get out of here. <laughs> yeah. We can talk later. Never had a friend before. He's like, all lonely. Yeah, it's just him. It's just his job. He's there forever. <laughs> It's like, no one really wants to talk, so I mean, like, I'll, I'll let you go if you want to talk later. Which is now, like, guaranteed even longer from now, because now he's, yeah. like, invincible and stuff. 
Yeah, like. Yeah. Man literally is like, you know, just chop right here, boys. And they're like, <laughs> they're like, ah, nah, man. Like, it ain't gonna work, boys. In that moment, I feel like everyone just forgot that he was invincible. And I'm like, yeah. you know, it's not gonna work, right? No, I, I think I think everyone was like, yeah, 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 he's invincible. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, like, it's a joke. Yeah, it's like, like we, we say that, Legend, we don't believe it, dude. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So then they saw it, and they're like, oh, snap, it's like real, dude. You uh, you you mentioned how Tao is like kind of became his father figure or whatever. Yeah. Uh, we find out in the end, or at least this is how I feel, was that his real dad wasn't really a bad dad. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He, I mean, it seemed like when he came back, he really cared, and like he, he even said something like, "It doesn't matter if you failed. Like I'll, I'll take all the responsibility and all the shame for mm-hmm. you. You know, I'm I'm just glad you're back and safe and." All that stuff. Again, it has to go back with Tell saying like it's the way they're raised. Like no one there is like truly terrible. It's mm-hmm. like the society they grew up in, really. Yeah, that sucks. And then like he he does like the you know Jabel pulls the old Harry Potter move. It's like oh yes, my first son, Tell. <laughs> oh yeah, Tell <laughs> Tell Hassani or something. Yeah, he's like wow, look at that. That's crazy. I I saw this picture, right? <laughs> I saw this meme, and, and, and I'm sure you've probably seen it. But in the, you know what what Ray is talking about is, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, Harry Harry names his son what like? Uh, he's like Albus Severus or whatever. Like. Al, Al, yeah, Albus Severus Potter, yeah. right? Yeah. You're named after two of the greatest, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. I saw this meme where where <laughs> he had that scene, but. Harry Potter named him. <laughs> Harry Potter named him like Harry Potter Potter or something like that, and he was like, "You are named after <laughs> the, the most Potter. powerful." <laughs> or was so stupid, like Harry Harry Potter Potters. <laughs> you know, the and it like zoomed in on his face and like his eyebrows, and it was like, okay. <laughs> you get you get like a an image from Guns Akimbo, where just him yeah. with the guns, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like the like the weird like like slippers and like bear claw yeah. slippers or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like bunny slippers. It's like yeah. chilling. It's like my hands are literally taped to guns. Yeah. Um I th- I thought it was cool when uh Tell was talking to him and it like revealed uh when this book is uh taking place, I guess. Mm-hmm. Where it's like the world that we exist in, you know, the the real people, yeah, used to be how it was, and then like civilization fell or whatever and collapsed, and, yeah, 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 and like everything kind of shifted around. I thought that was cool for him to be like, no, like actually, we used to be in power, and this is what our religion was, and you know, at that point in the book, Jabel was. I mean, this is like towards the beginning, mm-hmm. Jabel was just like dismissing it, and he was like, that's not real. You're an idiot, you know. I could have you killed for <laughs> for even saying stuff like that. I thought it was cool that that tell kind of set that of like this is like post what you the reader knows. You know him him like talking about how we used to have weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. That, that's the classic cool. Darren Shan again. It's yeah. like another Darren Shanism. He's like tossing in there. Mm. <laughs> As you go more and more, you can you can definitely like pick out his his writing style yeah you know so he, he loves that type of stuff it's crazy yeah this was the first thing that ended though for me uh that didn't have some weird like time stuff yeah to... probably because like all the weird stuff kind of just happens like in like the middle of the book and like towards the latter yeah. half and like mm-hmm. for the most part you just kind of like it, it's, it's it's gradual it's more of a growth story he doesn't have to go mm-hmm. super hard into anything he's not trying to like flesh out the world itself is pretty crazy and like ridiculous with some like the mythology and stuff that's happening but he doesn't have to go super into weirdy zany stuff with his story we're just gonna he's gonna end it right here i mean we i mean yeah we find out that the god is real i mean it's not really (laughs) a god which is what they person but like 
he has like crazy powers and like mm-hmm. they they live for very long um which which i guess that that's also a thing too where up until that point we didn't know if there's actually going to be anything there because they yeah, maybe there'd be nothing there and then that journey was going to be useless yeah <laughs> they visit all these places that just have all their own like different religions and beliefs and stuff which i think is really cool mm-hmm. uh, especially for someone like Jabel who's just so stubborn and just so unaccepting <laughs> of anything else you know it's great wonderful um what about uh what are they blair blair and bush right yeah blair and bush were awful i just want i just want to tell you right terrible. i already said this but i want to say it again <laughs> they're just awful they're just terrible you know in, in the beginning I was like okay they're kind of cool you know they're kind of helping us out right but even the fact that they helped them out i was mm-hmm. like there's, there's something weird about these guys and then tell was like there's something weird about these guys and you're and like, like, yeah, tell, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what? <laughs> you're on to something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jabel's uh, like, no, nah, man, they're perfectly fine. <laughs> we should be their friends. We should tell them about all this, all this money we have. And it's like, you. It's like, we're making a whole this. Person. We're holding so much money, dude. Yeah. It's great. And then, like, by the second time we see him, I was like, okay, they're definitely going to do something crazy. It's like, it's like, there's no way we just see him again, right? It's like, oh man, we're gonna help, or maybe they die, you know? Yeah. It's like they come back to die. I love characters mm-hmm. like that, by the way. They just come back to die. That, that's one of my biggest complaints, actually. And bring a character back just to kill them off. Well, I mean, we they came back multiple times. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that, but like. Just to bring back character one time, just for them to die. Mm. Got peace in mind. So, oh yeah, remember this character like ten episodes ago? I'm gonna bring oh, him back right now. He only came in that one time. Oh, now he's dead. Main character only met him for like ten minutes, dude. <laughs> now he's upset. This was my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you only knew him for ten minutes. I don't even know what to say. And this is also the guy who tried to kill you, like in these ten minutes. And you're right. like, this is your friend, dude. I don't know what to say. It's almost like they're trying, you know, it's just like cheap, mm-hmm. I don't know, cheap tension, I guess. Yeah. That's, 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 I hate cheap. Yeah, that's the way to put it. I hate cheap tension. Thank you. It's like there's no real stakes there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> For the short time that we saw her, I liked the one girl that was part of the, the like, seek, the, like, valley place with all the flowers really? and stuff. Yeah, I really forgot that character. Please go into detail. She was the one who uh, met them, and she was like, "Oh, I'll I'll let you in. I'm returning to become to like have a say and stuff." Because like their their whole village was like, everyone there is a warrior. Like from the beginning, from a baby, you're handed a small spear, <laughs> and if you <laughs> if you grab it, then you live. If you drop it, then they kill you. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, she, so she was the one that was coming back, and they fought off this, like, tiger bear thing, but she died in the middle of it. She was very honorable about it, right? As as you expect them to be. Is it Ubaira? Yeah, yeah, um, okay. Ubaira. Is he, this is me just going through the book right now just to see. And they, uh, they, like, cut off her head, and I was like, oh, that's weird, I wonder why, but then you find out later that there's, like, this... Like a ritual they do with this like spinning stone in the middle of their village, and every time someone dies, they replace the head with a with an old head, you know, as their way mm-hmm. to mourn. Um, yeah, I just I just liked her. We didn't see her for very long, you know. It was like a few chapters, maybe, just with that that little thing. But I thought she was cool, you know. She like helped them, you know. They, that you know, Jabel specifically disagreed with with her. Uh, her like beliefs and stuff like that but you know she was very patient in that aspect and uh she also wasn't like angry at them for her dying like just get just bringing them back into her home right she was just like oh yeah that that happens you know i it's like uh it's like thor <laughs> right <laughs> where uh 
they want to die in battle. You know, they're dying anywhere. They yeah. want to die fighting something. If, if you're a warrior, you, it is an honor to die in battle. Yeah, and you want to die with a weapon in hand, so right. you can hit Valhalla and become a part of the uh, Odin's army in Ragnarok mm-hmm. to fight alongside your god. Maybe one, you know, an, a great honor to get to be a part of. I saw something uh, on Reddit that was a fan theory about why. Um, Ooh, Idris Elba. I don't know the character's name. Why he saved Hulk and not Thor or Loki. Well, no, I think at that point Loki was already dead, right? Mm. Oh, um, uh, I don't, I don't remember. Heimdall. Heimdall, yeah. Because like Idris Elba has Heimdall, so he's the one who opens the gate. Yeah, yeah, Rainbow Bridge. He can see, Mm. you know. And uh, the, through the entire uh, universe. I thought it was interesting because, yeah, I never really thought of it like that, where at the beginning of Infinity War, he saves Hulk, brings him down into Earth, and he doesn't save Thor. Mm-hmm. But I guess, like, the the very basis of the theory is that um, Hulk is Bruce Banner, one of the smartest minds, you know, mm-hmm. ever, I guess. So bringing him back to Earth, they would be able to somehow... Uh, fight Thanos, right? Or have the be able mm-hmm. to make the technology or be able to, you know, whatever he needs to do, right? Um and you know by by the very end they needed something like that to build the the glove or get the whatever, right? Or to mm-hmm. uh try to help vision get the thing out. You know, we we need a strong mind, right? Him and mm-hmm. Tony together. And on the flip side, if he did save Thor, Thor is supposed to be like the protector of Asgard. So mm-hmm. Thor so Thor, even though Heimdall is like his best friend, would be furious at him like he would like that would have because he's shame. away from asgard he's away from yeah. his people yeah mm-hmm. that would have brought great shame to his name to you know flee from from thanos <laughs> you know mm-hmm. the thing that literally just killed what half his people yeah you know um, and more i mean i mean let's be honest yeah anyone yeah. who was defying you know he's like well then you gotta go too and loki and after heimdall so it's like <laughs> you know he killed all these it- people Heimdall, to be honest, I mean, like, because he can see everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Like, this time, Ragnarok also kind of pulls up how, like, ridiculous Heimdall is. Because he can just see, dude. It's. He's like, <laughs> he can just see. It's crazy. <laughs> he, he knows, like, everything that's going on in Asgard by just, like, sweeping his eyes across. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah. that's it. He's like, he's like, okay, hell's still there at the castle. We can make this movement right now and get them to safety. Like, it just takes him a couple quick second glance, dude. He's like, all right, we're good? Okay, let's go. And it's enough to, like, see again through, like, the entire cosmos. Like, he oh, can yeah. see Thor on, all the way on the planet, and he can communicate with him. Mm-hmm. He's like, this is what's happening right now in Asgard. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he can just summon the Bifrost. Yeah. He, so... he doesn't even need the the sword or the thing mm-hmm. or whatever. I'm also ridiculous. Yeah. Um, when I was first going back through Thor, I forgot Idris Elba was Heimdall in the first place. Yeah, I know it's it's so good. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else. Cause I was like, man, I want Heimdall. Oh no, not Heimdall. I want Idris Elba to be a Black Panther, and then I was like, oh snap, he's a he's Heimdall. <laughs> he's Heimdall. Yeah, he can't he can't be a Black Panther. It's just a that's a win loss scenario. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the dub because he's already in the franchise. <laughs> now he's gone. Now he, now he can't be in Black Panther because uh, he's Heimdall. <laughs> Walking Dead is ending. This is the perfect time for you to binge it. Is it really? Because it's cause it's over. Yeah. Oh okay. You have like one and one and a half more seasons. Oh, well, I can probably do that. Yeah. And then there's like there's like six spinoffs that are happening. We're not doing Game of Thrones on air. Just a heads up. No, I mean we could, but I we, could, we do the it. earlier seasons and just like forget the old ones. I mean, or the new ones. Apparently, up to like like season five is like the last good season, is what is what people say. And that's really what's based on the books. So I mean, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Oh, I saw something the other day. Um, those those people that did uh, Game of Thrones, right? Mm-hmm. They're doing something else. I don't know what it is. I've never heard of it before. It's like. 
some like sci-fi um show but it's it's based on books so like they might actually okay. do a good job <laughs> because yeah. They're they're not that good at making a show, but they're very good at adapting someone's work books, into a show. Yeah. Because yeah. those first five seasons of Game of Thrones made it were all based on the like, books. Yeah, yeah. And they and, were grounded, you know. Exactly. I'm not gonna say like I hated like what they were doing in the newer seasons because I was checking up what they were doing. Hmm. Um I definitely feel like uh once they hit like season seven, it was still going fine in season seven. I was like, okay, this is this is decent. But like there was stuff they could do to make it like better, quote unquote. Yeah. Like, I feel like they definitely... misused Paris. I feel like they really misused Paris. Yeah. Paris is supposed to be like this big mastermind trying to like push everything to do everything he wants. Yeah, he definitely didn't succeed in that in the last season. I think last season just felt rushed, you know? You know, I feel like saying something feels rushed is like a very easy complaint to have about stuff. I feel like that's what everyone says about everything is, oh, it felt rushed, and they don't, like, explain why it felt rushed. I, I can say that about manga, and I can always say it's, like, usually because they're, like, you gotta end this right now. This is it. We're not giving you another chapter. And I'm, like, that's yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Every time it's, like, give them one more chapter, they could have cleaned this up real quick. Guarantee like, one piece ends. It's not gonna be rushed, because they're gonna have all faith in them, and they're gonna be, like, yeah, man, you've given us money for how many years, dude? Like end it, dude. Take your time, or maybe oh, yeah. they'll rush them and screw it over. <laughs> screw One Piece over. The greatest franchise that they've ever had in the entirety of Jump. Anyway, that's my complaint. Like the best-selling just comic of all time in that's general, just manga. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other. I know there was something else. I know there was uh Rashawn reminds me. An off tangent while you're thinking that Pokemon is the largest franchise of all time. I think number two is like Hello Kitty. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. I'm like, it's crazy. But then I remember like Pokemon has like, you know, the trading card game, they got the video games, they got the plushies, the toys. Pokemon Go. Yeah. I'm like, then I'm like, you know, I believe it. And then like Pikachu is the big mascot in general. Like, he's cute. Kids love him, adults love him. I'm like, okay, well, this buys into everything. They were betrayed by so many people, right? Do you remember in... uh, uh, Do you remember when Blair and Bush uh, betrayed them, right? They took their money? Yeah, well, they did more than that. They, like, uh... They, like, poisoned... (laughs) They poisoned Tel uh, and sold him off to someone. And then they took Jabal and then made him their apprentice like grave robber i can see that in chapter 19 okay (laughs) um but but that's not even what i'm talking about right because like later on jabelle and tell they run into each other jabelle takes the opportunity you know one shot all that stuff and he goes to save tell and it works out i mean uh you know at the beginning and another slave comes in and was like hey uh, I want to help you guys. I can't go back, uh, you know, because cause he had, like, weak lungs or something, and he was like, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die soon anyway if I keep doing all that labor. So I really have that hard, to hard labor, dude. And then the next morning, we find out that he, like, sold them out. Jabel wakes up. Tell is knocked out. He's, like, tied up doing something. And uh, there's, like, police guards standing all around him. And Jabel's just looking up. <laughs> And he's like, why would you do this? <laughs> you know? And the slave's like, hey, slaves who ran away get free if they bring in other slaves. That's what I'm doing. And I was like, man, we could have we could have had something. You know, we, we could have been a family, you know, not like us two, but like, you know, you could have had your own family. I could have mine, you know. But no, you had, to, you had to sell us out for some stuff. Uh, you know, it's it sucks. I feel like Jabel and Tell had everything working against them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the, the, their never, problem was simple. They were trusting people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, even even Tell, who was more like cautious, you know, about the slave and about Blair and Bush, he even like went back and he was like, "Yeah, I should have, 
I should have seen it, you know. Um, Blair and Bush with those like ball things mm-hmm. you throw. <laughs> like that, just that, that's a crazy invention. <laughs> I don't know how they did that. There's some they're like wizards or something. I don't know. His name was Kubta. Who? What a trick. Kubta. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, this book is a very like uh, Arab, Arabesque setting. Yeah. Why is that? Like the names and wording of everything. Yeah, I figured it was it was like in, inspired by something. I can I can tell what it was. It, it's it's very it's just the names though like like Sabaid, uh, Seek, uh, you know, like the very Arab names. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gebel, Hassani, even Khubta, Abu Saga. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like these these are very Arab names. I, I forgot about that, and then when I was going through the book, I was like, oh, yeah. And then the leader of the Umbiara, right? He wasn't any different than Jabel. He was very close-minded, and he, I mean, I mean, he was more aggressive, <laughs> you know, where <laughs> the last couple of groups, you know, he just slaughtered them for not wanting to convert. Um, nom, nom. I mean. Yeah, that was... That was that was crazy. <laughs> I, was, I honestly didn't think that was gonna happen until it That's happened. Like, Darren Jay needs to remind you what he is as an author, and like you're forgetting when you're reading with an executioner. Yeah. You hit that point, and you're like, "Oh no, are they?" And then you're like, "They are," and then you're like, "Oh no," and you're like, "Are oh, they no. gonna do anything else?" And then they're like, "Oh no." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's, he's writing this, he's like, this is going to gross out so many people. And he's like, <laughs> he's yeah, like writing with a smile on his face. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just uh, imagine him doing that zombie bride when they're, they're bathing in the blood and the brain and giblets. Oh, yeah. And he's like, he's all like, yeah. And then I'm reading zombie bride like, what is happening? I don't know. <laughs> He's like, I'm like, it's like they're having a pool party inside of this like giant mammoth skull, and I'm like, no. You know how like on, on YouTube, you can uh, you can like tap the screen a couple times and it like fast forwards. I do that, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like what I would what, what you want to do here. It's like let's just <laughs> let's just skip a few pages. <laughs> like I'm just skimming this page right now. Where it's like and they're still going. Okay, we're just. <laughs> <laughs> It's like ch- next chapter, and they're still okay. All right. <laughs> Put the book down for a moment. And walk away. <laughs> so... Otherwise, thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, I did like that there was, like, very minimal, and scattered. Uh, examples of like magical stuff right at the very end with the god we had um death yeah uh, well. death and then we we had the, the, the shadow people yeah yeah the spirits it was cool but that, it's like mostly like people are the real villains really in this book for the most part oh yeah 100 percent. every single place they went i mean even the very first place they went where nothing really happened but tell warned him of like yo that girl over there that's like being real cool with you she's actually planning to like kill you <laughs> because you're a quester and she's been like banished or something and if she kills you then she'll get her honor back she'll be able to live here everything like that and you know he didn't believe him at first but it was like even that every single place they went everyone just wanted to kill him you know go back on him all that stuff No other way to bond, really, than people almost dying together. Am I right, yeah. fellas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the classic way. It's like, you know what could really raise our friendship? Skydiving into a volcano and landing on a small platform. Am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, but yeah, I I liked it. I liked it, uh, 
more probably than I thought it was going to. Um, Same here. For me, it was like it was like a double edged sword. Where like I like Darren Chan, so mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I'll probably like this, right? But then part mm-hmm. of me is like, there's a bar that this book has to hit based mm-hmm. off the other things of his that I like. And if it doesn't, I don't know. The thing is, though, obviously, like this is a one-off book which he wrote, and it actually has like you know, it's just so self-contained. Actually, it's pretty ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Like I can't ask for anything more in this book. It covers everything it really wants to. Yeah. And then like you're comparing it to stuff like Demonada, which I think we both believe may be like his best series. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like you know, like Demonada is like on a different level of like writing, level and capability, on how we try to work that book mm-hmm. series. Yeah, like with all the all the threads that he has to keep constant. And, and then, there's too then, many moving parts. It's like he's moving yeah. back and forth, weaving through time in that series. Mm-hmm. You know, the books have a certain order, so he has to do stuff to keep that order and make it relevant to like what's happening in time as well. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, exactly what you said. Like, there, this book, Thin Executioner, does even though it's one book and it's not very long. It's like three fifty. Mm-hmm. Um, there is so much that happens where it's like it almost feels like it was more than one book because yeah. of all the places they go all the all the ideas they kind of mm-hmm. delve into right yeah there was there was it was very dense but like dense in a good way you know i can say definitely like this book though feels like uh it does feel when you're going through it that this is like longer i feel like when i was reading it the first time i felt like it was like maybe three or four of his books was what mm-hmm. I thought. Obviously, when we counted page size, you know, we went through it, we're like, it's obviously not the case. But, like, the way it feels, you know, the way he makes this epic adventure and follows through with it, it has that, you know, feeling to it. And that's the only way for it to word it. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I liked it. I don't know. There's nothing. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Um, maybe at some point we'll do... Uh, some other Darren Chan stuff, although they're series, so it's gonna you know take more time. I, I did hear of the City Trilogy actually. The what? The City Trilogy. Is that by him? It's his. It's by him. It's it's one of his adult series, not young adult series. Mm, so he okay. had it under a different pen name, and then he re-established it under Darren Chan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We might have to check that out then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I've never heard of it. I didn't even know. I I heard of it when I was like looking up, you know, just to see what else we can probably do by him. Yeah. So I, I was like, we're not doing zombie. I'm like, Demon on is kind of long. I was like, we Definitely could do Cirque the Freak. Zombie. <laughs> I, was, I was like, we, I was like, we could do Cirque the Freak. I was like, we all could, we could also do Saga of Lauren Crepsley if we wanted to. Either oh, that or like I've, the Demon I've never read that. Yeah, I never read that. But I was like, City Trilogy, I haven't read. Yeah. I've so that's either. something that we can both delve into. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. Um, but Ray, uh. Oh, everyone wants to know. Yeah, this gets a seal of approval. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> As expected, you know. As expected. Uh, What are we doing next, though, right? Uh, Lightning Thief, dude. You already got a head start on it. I did, yeah. I'm 20%. That's actually a shorter book, to be honest. Like, relatively shorter. Not only, like, page size, but chapter size as well. Yeah. For the most part. And, mm-hmm. like, Rick Riordan's pretty. In case you don't know, this is Percy Jackson, the Olympians, the Lightning Thief. We're reading old books that we have nostalgia for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At some point, we will stop doing that, and we will <laughs> we will read stuff that neither one of us have read. City yeah. Trilogy sounds dope, which is why I said it. So that's a Darren Shannon one that we can put on the list. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that neither of us have read. Also, mm-hmm. he would aim that one at adults, so nothing that uh, we can't handle. Yeah. Also, I was kind of upset, because I was like, okay, this is me. I'm at my, imagine me at my home, okay? Okay. I'm like, man, you know, it looks like a really cool uh, series to watch. I was like, The Boys. Then, like, refresh my YouTube page, subscriptions, <laughs> Tiger Team, The Boys, season one, review. And I was like, Yes. I was like, I can't have anything nice in this world. I gotta, I gotta leave. <laughs> you had to be quicker, right? You had to be quicker. <laughs> I was like, I was like, man, The Boys sounds dope. Wait, I should watch that. And then, season one, review. And I was like, This is just how it's gonna be, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be faster, right? There's nothing I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that that was me a couple days in this week. I was like, that's, yeah, that's funny. That's actually really funny. It was it was the exact same thing. I was like, the boys looking hype, dude. 
So I really want to go into this. Next thing you know, refreshes my YouTube feed, subscriptions to Tiger T. Sees yeah. the boys, and I'm like, this is not. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you if you catch up fast enough, <laughs> um, season two is coming out right now. I, I, did, four, I did hear four episodes are out. I did hear. Um, the city trilogy. Uh, Darren yeah, Channel. So, uh, we were doing uh, Low Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Um, yeah, so just read it. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd probably finish it by the end of the week, so we'll do the whole book again, I imagine. We're also going to watch the movie. That was a lie. We're not watching oh, the movie. I was going to say, could, I, I, I didn't, yeah, we, we could didn't watch the movie, but I don't know if we want to watch the movie. Um, I don't remember. Oh, I know what I didn't do this week. I was like, I was like, you know, I I, I think I forgot to watch something. I forgot to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Out of all the things you could have forgotten, that is the, the most least, successful. That's the most successful. I've already watched all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge up to like episode yeah. like 50 or 60. So I'm like, okay. But to be fair, that hurts me because like they're good episodes, Raymond. These are good episodes. Yeah. Or are yeah, they? Yeah, they are. There was some stuff okay. you've been waiting for. Yeah, so. yeah. It was like Bandit Key and Bones, I think. Yeah. Oh, dude, I missed so much good stuff, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, Lenny Thief, reading the whole book. Uh, Rick Riordan. Yeah. It's it's yeah. smaller than this one. It's 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 easily manageable. It's not the oh, yeah. movie, so it's actually good. It's, it's actually good. <laughs>